I'm Louise, and you're watching the AU Review. You went to Europe to produce the record with Pascal. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about how the two of you connected and, and what it was like working together. Um, it was amazing. Like, Pascal is just like, he's exactly what my music needed, you know? Like, mm. we clicked straight away. And um, I ended up working with him in the south of France in this, like, castle. That's terrible. Which was absolutely <laughs> horrible and... Yeah. There's a lot of echoes in some of the songs. Are you are you trying to use the natural ambience of, of a space like that? Um, no, I think that was all like effects really. Cause like mm. the studio was like a pretty um, like classic studio. You know? mm. It's just that it was like, yeah, it was really amazing. But yeah, like Pascal, you know, like it was just all about like, he kind of really like just made me feel comfortable in like what I was making and and encouraged me to kind of express myself you know yeah I wasn't hung up I didn't have any hang-ups really it was just like pretty free how long was that process um like it was for a month Mm -hmm. um pretty full on for a month and then I came back here for the Sam Smith tour Mm -hmm. and I went back over for a month for like mixing and like you know like adding like little sprinkles of things and there was lots of wine consumed in the last <laughs> wine and cheese i hope <laughs> there was so much cheese yeah it's kind of next level even the butter like anything that has any dairy in it in france is just next level everything's so good like i was having cheese dreams i've never <laughs> experienced cheese dreams but i had them all the time they were mm. so vivid and crazy you know there's a difference cheese dreams crazy Mm. The, the only place in the world I think that even comes close is maybe Vermont, but still they've got, yeah. they've got nothing on, nothing on France. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's good shit. All, so much of it. Yeah. Do you find a connection with Europe just uh, spiritually and creatively? I mean, is there, do, do you, because uh, it's obviously such a vibrant place and yeah. different every jump on the train for an hour and it's like in a, you're in a different world. Um, I think so. Like being anywhere like new is like so exciting, you know, but, um, in Europe, I mean like, you know, like I love wine and like all the food and, you know, yeah, there's something about Europe is just like amazing. And I spent a lot of time there, you Mm. know, over the past like few years. So yeah, I love it. Yeah. I love how the album is bookended. And it just even though you've 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 obviously got some singles in there and 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 there's and there's quite a variety throughout the record, it has a real side A side B album feel to it. Yeah. Um, how much thought went into the the track listing? You know, how much of that was was engineered by 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 you in the yeah. in those late stages of putting it all together? And, um, and, and in my opinion, you, you end on your, your most powerful song as yeah, well. Thanks. So, um, t- talk me through a little bit about the process of kind of taking all this music and I'm sure there was a lot more that didn't yeah. make the record. And, and how did you make those final tracks, track list? Um, well, I think like, you know, like the importance of an album is so like, I, I think it's so important, mm. you know, like it's like, I think it justifies like a time that I went through over like a few years, you know, like it's like, I don't want to use the word journey, but I'm going to use it. You know, like I went through a journey and, and so I wanted that to kind of like be, you know, like I want the album to kind of, Mm. you know, go through the same thing. And, and that's my favorite albums are the ones that, you know, you can listen to and there's like a, you know, like a little road from like one song to the next. Mm. And like, that's like my favorite, that was like one of my favorite parts of this album is like, you know, like connecting it all together and, and, um, like I thought I was a ship that's like, I actually demoed a lot of the, um, music came from my demos and, mm. and ship I actually recorded on a piano in the basement of the old museum in Brisbane. And, uh, there was just like very like rough times, you know, and, and, you know, there was like lots of artists in this big building and shit went down and (laughs) I snuck out, I snuck into this like basement and, and like recorded the piano for it and sung over it into these, like, you know, I had like in my backpack, some like little condensers and stuff. And, Mm. and then I just kind of like 
didn't really think much of it. And then when Pascal, I was just showing the, him these other songs and he was like, we got to do that one. Actually, he's not American. He's French, but... I we got to do that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's easy and to speak French if you pretend like you're smoking. That's the, <laughs> yeah. that's the, that's the trick. <laughs> um, actually, he's from Belgium. He's from Belgium. He's French. But, he's French Belgian. Okay. Yeah. But um, yeah, basically like I, yeah, just recorded it then and, and couldn't like replicate the emotion of it. Um, but I added those like synths at the end mm. and, and yeah. 